Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I want to show you something kind of fun and interesting. Uh, Game Salad has finally released their creator beta, or not their creator beta, it's not in beta anymore, I can finally talk about it. It is released in 2.0, so uh, we can finally use Game Salad in a web interface, which is great for all the schools and um, students or people interested in game design who have Chromebooks, because before it was only Windows and Mac, now uh, Chromebooks and even Linux can get in on the fun. So I want to take a quick over, overview of Game Salad Creator 2.0, the web interface. And this is of course at creator.gamesalad.com and you log in with your Game Salad account. Um, and this is what you should see when you log in. Uh, we have our menus on the left. These are our, um, our libraries, our scenes, actors, and tables. We also have our um, other libraries here. We have our behaviors library, our images library. We can import images, sounds, fonts. Um, and we also have our projects here. We can click on compact and it'll make it smaller. So we just have the icons and we can click on expanded to make it pop back out. Uh, right here we have our username. We have our project uh, settings right here. We have settings, published projects, my projects. These are the ones that will show up in the portfolio. These are the ones that we're currently working on. We can log out and in settings, we don't have too much here. We just have smart navigation, which will automatically switch to a useful library after an editable object is open. So when you click on one, it'll move to the library. Uh, not super necessary. You can try this out, see if you like it or not. I just leave it off because uh, most people aren't gonna go in here and click it. So uh, my tutorials, I want it to be compatible with everyone, so um, I'm not going to click it either. So let's go back to my projects and let's create a new project. Um, uh, before we go into our attributes uh, menu on the right side, uh, since we can't really view the inspector yet because this little hamburger bar or hamburger icon isn't active since we're not in the project, I'll have to show you that later. We do have edit mode in a few different sections, so when you click on this little uh, pencil, that will usually let you change the name or more commonly let you erase a, uh, a file. And there are local copies of the file and there's also cloud copies of the file, which you can edit as well. So let's create a new project. If we hit new right here, we can choose what kind of project we'd like to make. And uh, there's a few uh, starter projects that include the assets of the curriculum that Game Solid uh, contains, but we're gonna just create a new blank project. And uh, you're gonna see this little icon show up here. And then finally, when it's ready, a small notification on the bottom left will pop up just like that. So we can go to my projects and here's our new blank project. When we click on it, we are officially in our project. Uh, we have our scene right here and we can open up our inspector by clicking on this little um, icon on the right side. Actually, I think we, yeah, there it is. So I clicked on the icon. Uh, we have our inspector and we can see our game settings. Uh, so some of the options we can change in our inspector are the name of our project. So we can name it My Great Game, uh, Resolution Independence, uh, whether it's online network enabled or not, our display size, which we'll leave at 1024 by 768. You can go in here and choose from different sizes and uh, aspect ratios. Um, we have our ad rewards so that you can go in and um, attach your ad account to it, etc. So um, we can also say that this is a single or multiplayer game. So that's pretty much all we need to change here. We also have our scene inspector, which we can view the name of the scene. So we can say like menu or level one. And then we have our scene size, um, our wrap attributes, and a bunch of other options that we can um, adjust, including what kind of orientation we want the game to be in. Finally, we have our layers, um, and our layers are here so that we can uh, set some things, for example, a user interface where a user interface doesn't move, we can have it in a non-moving layer and uh, or non-scrollable layer. And then um, other objects like our character and camera can be on scrollable layers. So that's what those are for. I'll go back to game. Uh, we have our actors on the left side. So when we click on this, our library right here is gonna change from scene to actors. And here we have our actors. If you wanna create a new actor, you can hit this little plus sign and click on act, new actor. On the right side, um, once it loads up, we'll have our actor attributes and our um, our workspace here. This is where we're going to put all of our rules and behaviors and all that stuff for our actor. So we can name our actor, for example, player, and um, let's say change his color to green. Why not? 
and um, this is our transparency, our alpha is here. So we have red, green, blue, and then alphas for transparency. One is full color, and zero is completely transparent, so 0.5 would be 50%. Um, scrolling down, we have the rest of our attributes like graphics, physics, and motion. So graphics, physics, and motion are down here, and you can adjust all of those. Uh, moving on, we have our tables here, which you'll see you can create different tables. There's an example purchase table, and we can see the various options included in that, such as um, whether it's consumable, the name of the product, the price, and its state. Um, if we go back to our actor and click on player, I'll show you some examples of the behaviors. So um, if we click on our behaviors library here, we have all of our actions. Below that, we have in green, we have our behaviors, and um, below that, we have our groups. So our groups are, um, you can create a group, a rule, or a timer, and these are also available up here. We have a rule, a group, and a timer. So what we're going to do is, just for funsies, let's create a new rule and say, um, this is the look of the rule. We could turn it on or off. Excuse me. And here's the event that we want um, to call upon. So whenever something happens, we do something else. So if this happens, then do this or else do that. So what we want it to do is, let's say, when we hit a keyboard key, um, up for example, whenever we press up, then we want it to do something. And what do we want it to do? Let's see. Let's try move. So let's drag a move behavior in here. Just wait for that. And what direction do we want to move in? We have our little um, our little directional pad here. So let's try out a few options. Let's say 90 degrees. And that is upwards. Uh, if we want it downwards, we'd say 270 degrees. And the arrow points down. This is in increments of 90 degrees. So 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Um, zero being 360 obviously so let's put 90 for upwards we can leave um, the speed just the same and leave the movement in additive um, if we wanted to make this an expression which we don't we can click this and it'll offer us more functions so when we click on this it'll load up the function editor and we can edit that expression in code which I really like um, you can go in and say um, instead of 90 degrees we'd be able to look up something like um, self rotation or something, whatever rotation it's at, that's the angle it's going to go, whatever you want it to do. Uh, we're not going to do that though, we're going to switch it back to a regular number and leave it at 90. And then um, whenever we press, press up, the uh, little character, the player, should move up. Easy enough. So um, let's leave that there and uh, we'll test that a bit later. If we go into our images library, we can add images um, in here. We just hit plus, and it'll allow you to browse your computer for images. The same goes with um, sounds. Uh, you can use M4A and OGG files. Uh, some sound files don't work with it. I believe Wave works, um, MP3, and a couple others. So um, if you press the plus sign, you can add those. You can also import custom fonts in TATF or OTF format, and then you can go back to your projects library here. Uh, if we go back into our scene and click on our first level, this is our, our level scene here. So then we can go to our actors and drag our player in. So our player is right here. That's it. So um, now we have our player and our scene. And if we hit play, we should be able to press the up key and make the player move up. And um, it's taking a little bit to load because I am uh, backing up a bunch of files on my computer. So I apologize if it's a little slow but um, it's, it's pretty speedy uh, normally. So here's our scene. Um, you can see the viewport tools here and you can try it in different aspect ratios and see if your sprites uh, stretch or if something doesn't look right or if it opens bugs. So you can change the size here um, to various different things. We'll leave it at four by three. And then if we press up, we're moving up. So that works. You can reset the scene by hitting reset. You can pause the game or play the game here and um, view our scene selection here. So yeah, that's uh, Game Salad Creator 2. If we close this preview window, we go back to our game. I believe it saves automatically. There is no save button. And um, 
almost everything has been imported from the game salad desktop creator and it runs pretty well um, if you want to switch the camera view uh, it's in the same location but it looks like a little toggle like on here and instead of being able to click on things like um, you currently can uh, it's going a little slow so let's go to level one click on this and now we can move it around right let's go back down and then if we click on this little um, camera mode we can adjust our camera's tracking area so we could say track the player here and then just use a follow camera behavior to um, properly follow the player we click it again and it goes back to our editor mode where we can click on actors and move them around and yeah uh, that's pretty much it I just wanted to give a quick overview and show you guys where everything's at in the new game salad uh, creator beta I mean, not beta I keep on saying beta it was in beta now it's finally released for everyone to use with your standard account information at creator.gamesalad.com uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, uh, please let me know. I'm going to start creating tutorials and recreating our old tutorials using the new Game Solid Web, Web Creator um, version 2.0. That way, everyone can start moving on to this one. So, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and have a good day. Peace.